Hello beautiful naps, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn. Today we are going to be talking about musical intelligence and do some makeup from a musical icon. I'm talking Lady Gaga, although not one of her music video looks. No, we're gonna do a Met Gala look because like, have you seen that look? It's really cool. It's really cool. So we're gonna do that today. Um, let's stick around and talk about some multiple intelligences. Let's get started. I'm gonna start off with some Mary Kay foundation primer. And yeah, so if you haven't been here before, hello, welcome. If um, you've been here before, hello, welcome. Yes, it's the same greeting. This is like video seven of this series. So there's only two more of them. But I'm curious now, for those of you who have watched the whole series so far, do you find yourself identifying with any of the multiple intelligences? If you haven't seen them, check them out here. Okay, I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Butter Foundation in Fair Neutral 11. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Wettened Beauty Blender and go. So, quick recap. Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences states that everyone has multiple intelligences. There is not just one uh, general intelligence, as people like to say. And it's not even just broken down into things like street smart, book smart. No, it's broken down into like the way we learn, which is really neat. All nine of the intelligences, let's see if I can name them all. That's gonna be a time, okay. Magical, magical. Mat mathematical, logical, verbal, and linguistic, spatial, kinesthetic, musical, interpersonal, intrapersonal, naturalistic, and existential. And each of those has their own series of things that are included, skills that some people have that others don't. What makes musical intelligence special and different from all of these other ones? Let's get some Paul and Joe loose setting powder on. Musical intelligence is super fascinating. The brain processes music differently than it does just like average speech. It is one of the things that makes humans different from a lot of other animals on the planet with the small exception of weirdly enough, hummingbirds, some types of parrots and the beluga whale. Yeah, um, most other animals, they have a specific type of song that they use for whatever they use it for, um, but they don't learn other animals' songs, let alone are able to mimic those sounds or do it regularly that we do it in the form of music. So go us for being very interesting, weird pieces of evolution in the animal kingdom, yeah? All of the articles that I did research for this video on are going to be linked down below, especially if I mentioned something from there. You can go ahead and check that out along with all the makeup products that I'm using today. Now, I'm gonna be dipping into my NARS Laguna Bronzer for a little bit of contour because Lady Gaga has a little bit of contour in that particular thing. Man, I feel like I look tanner today in person, but not on the video. Interesting. Ever happened to you guys out there? Is that a just me problem? There we go. I feel pretty now. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Gonna put some blush on my face. Jouet. The Rose Gold Blush Duo, and I'm going to be using shade Rose Petal? Yeah. Cause she just has like a little light blush on. She doesn't have anything too crazy. Even though like her outfit is super pink and her lip is super pink and even her eye has pink shadow in it. She doesn't go over the top of the blush. No, we like to pace ourselves here, right? Just for my own personal thing here. Well, dab. Now let's break out my highlighters. My highlighters, I mean, the Aurora Lights Beauty Palette. Temporal lobes. That's what it is. Our temporal lobes are super developed compared to other animals, like crazy developed. That's where your brain processes sounds and like figures out what they do, what the patterns are and their relationships to each other. All right, I'm going to be taking my Aurora Lights Beauty Palette. I'm gonna be taking shade Ombre. Just this white shade here. We're just gonna start dusting it up there. The Met Gala, this, the year that Lady Gaga wore this was uh, camp themed, I think it was 2019. 
and that's a good year for makeup, let me tell you. That, that one had some really fun, bizarre, out of this world just pieces in it. Highly suggest you go back and just look at the fashion because it's just fun. And 2020 didn't give us anything new, so. Because we know that these separate parts of the brain exist from just our speech abilities to like our musical abilities, it makes kind of sense that there would be a musical intelligence and that there would be a ability to comprehend focused more around music. I'm, it makes me wonder if different parts of the brain also kind of lend themselves to this theory, multiple intelligences as well. Like maybe if you have a heavier naturalistic intelligence, maybe that means that your like lizard brain is a little bit more active, you know? Because that would be the part of the brain that's responsible for like geolocation and identifying what's dangerous and poisonous, you know? I'm glowy, I'm dewy, I'm fantastic, so now I got some brows to do, right? I'm gonna get my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade. Let's get these beautiful wild beasties tamed. Now, the queen monster herself, Lady Gaga, she had her brows kind of partially obscured because she was wearing bangs that day. But from what I could see, they were not crazy brows. Like, they were just kind of focused, colored in a little bit, and maybe structured. Cause it's still like a red carpet event. They gotta still look nice, but they weren't, they weren't trying to be the focus of this. Me trying not to mess with my hair, it just ends up me messing with my hair. Let's put the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Mascara in shade Ebony as well. There. And this is where all of the normal makeup ends. So if you know the comedian Drew Lynch, when he sings, he has no stutter. It, it can be used in therapy for people who have stutters as well as like musical therapy. It can help people who have had strokes, um, be able to talk and communicate again. Those who have had dementia have been able to like sing full songs because the part of the brain that stores like musical information is different and separate. I guess it gets affected differently by some of these conditions than the like verbal communication section. So that's super freaking cool. It does make me really curious if he sings the word banana, does that still come out as a stutter or is banana just like a general no-go? Anyway, brows are done. Basic is done. Now we're gonna get into the eyes. And I talked about in my last video how I like never really use the Hidden Gems palette by Jacob and Eli. So I'm gonna use it today because I need to prove something to myself, I guess. Ah, and I also need eyeshadow primer. I can't believe you guys still let me forget this. Shame on you. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer and I am going to plop that on. Let's see, Very Well has a family website. Fun fact that I did not know originally. Not just like their Very Well Mind website, but Very Well Family. And they have articles on there too. And one of the articles is about musical intelligence. A lot of people I think when they have kiddos are probably looking for information on how to teach their kids how to learn. Anyway, Very Well Family talked about musical intelligence and it also mentioned a couple different names. So musical learning style, auditory, musical rhythmic intelligence was another name for it. Never heard that before. Let's break into Hidden Gems palette and go with shade Quartz. We're gonna tap that on the lid first, and then we're gonna go in with Opal after. So this type of intelligence is identified specifically as the ability to learn, understand, and process sounds, rhythms, and patterns in sound, relationships between sounds, and other auditory information. Not just like music. I should probably, well, no, I shouldn't do anything under my eye because you'll see. It's gotta be like a rose quartz. That's what, probably what they were going for, right? They said quartz. Pretty. I like it. Yeah. And I'm also gonna dip into shade Opal here, which looks really orange. But when I tried it on earlier, it had like this really pretty pink effect and also was a beautiful shimmer. I don't know why it doesn't look like this in the pan. I guess this is why you try colors out before judging them. The makeup version of Don't Judge a Book by its cover, except for this is a Don't Judge a Pigment by its pan. And I got a buff, cause this is a lot. This had silver on it from me doing the lashes, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, see, you'll be fine. 
feel like that smoked it out a little bit. We haven't quite gotten into the linguistic intelligence yet, but I feel like there's probably gonna be a chunk of overlap in here. And already I can tell that like the logical mathematical side had a, a strong ability to recognize patterns. So it's interesting that we're seeing that pattern recognition, recognition again, but with the specificity of sound pattern recognition. Now we're gonna get crazier. So I am going to start out with taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm gonna take this all throughout my waterline here. And I'm not gonna be too careful about the underneath either. It's, yeah, it's gonna be a little dramatic, kind of like my Halloween makeup, the one where I was like the ventriloquist dummy up there. Whew, I can see all of my very white lashes right now. And I'm gonna go in with the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Liquid Liner in white, just to make sure I get some precision lines. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to get off later though. So if you have musical intelligence, it doesn't always mean that it translates directly into you being all about music all the time. One would think it would, and a lot of the resources that I looked at kind of hinted at that, but that's the easy way out, man, because music takes a lot of different forms. And in that Very Well Family article, it mentioned that people who have high musical intelligence are often very creative in other types of ways besides just music as well. So much white, right? Like here, it's very, very bright. While I wait for that to dry though, <laughs> let's finish up some of this other stuff. With being creative in other ways, you can think of how like Snoop Dogg probably has high musical intelligence. And this guy's also making his own cookbook because he's creative in other facets other than music. That musical intelligence gets us, gets our brains super fired up in all sorts of ways. So you're, it's like a workout for your brain. And so it makes it easier to kind of translate that into other passions and creative outlets, I think. And that's an I think statement, not an I researched that and no statement. By the way, if you're new here, I am not a professional. I do some internet research, so that is where my background is. Learning strategies for people with musical intelligence. They process best with spoken instruction, so recording lectures is really helpful. Jingles, rhymes, raps can be used to help remember information. You think about like the ABC song, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I don't know if that's copyright. Background music is extremely helpful for these individuals. So if you know somebody who literally can't focus on work unless they have some background music going on, they may have a high musical intelligence. Yeah, that's wet. That's, uh, I don't know if that's gonna dry anytime soon. You might as well add more stuff to it. I'm not a professional in makeup either. I should also say that. I'm going to be using Lush's independent liquid eyeliner today. This is my only out of a pot use a brush liquid eyeliner. That's black, I should say, because the NYX liquid eyeliner is so, it takes a while to dry. I didn't wanna risk ruining a pen liner. This is much easier and I can just wash your brush off, you know? Can't do that with a pen liner. Got like a Lady Gaga song stuck in my head right now. Ugh, it did the thing. I need a brush. Ooh, my hip did a thing too. Oh. And I'm just taking a clean brush and while it's still wet, trying to sharpen out any weird lines. Luckily, this one has a little bit of playtime. Supposed to be smudgeable. Don't know about that statement, but it's definitely easier to fix. There we go. Okay, we're there so far. If you're looking for fields or professions where this particular type of intelligence might come in handy, look no further than speech language pathologist, sound design composer, live performance artist, or a musical technician. It's more than just singer-songwriter out there, right? There's so many different things that involve the ability to understand rhythm and it comes in so many different like weird little ways. Let me know down below if there's a job that fits your musical intelligence and really helps bring it out, but maybe isn't what you would think of when you think of musical intelligence. Now let's get this top liner in here. Pretty bold wing. It's gotta be to like compliment these lashes. Oh, are we starting to get into hooded eye territory? I think we are. All right, added a little bit of inner corner point because it felt a little necessary, but I can't 100% remember if it was in the original design. You know, artists take liberty with their work sometimes, even if it's supposed to be uh, copying, right? I have these big old like flat backed gems that I got from Joanne Fabrics, not sponsored. Wish I was sponsored by something, anyone maybe. Preferably a makeup brand though. And I'm gonna add some little gemmy details because if we look at our reference photo again, we see she's got, I think it's like three oval ones. These are not as thin as the one she has. 
Um, so I might only do two instead. Again, artistic liberties. But I feel like the gems need to be there, you know? And they have to go on before those crazy lashes. So I'm gonna just prep with some Ben Nye prosthetic adhesive and put it on the back, wait for it to dry, kind of like how you do with eyelashes as well. Test this on yourself. If you listen to a song, can you isolate the different types of instruments that you're hearing? Maybe not necessarily name them because I understand that goes into socioeconomic status and what you were brought up to like hear and understand. But I mean, can you tell the through line of one instrument without getting lost in some of the other instruments? Can you pick out the difference between one type versus another type? Then you might have high musical intelligence. Also, recognizing friends' voices without seeing them. If your friend is down the hall and there's a bunch of other people and you hear somebody shout your name, can you identify that person without necessarily knowing it's them, but just because you hear and you can recognize the voice and identify the person with that voice? By the way, if you are new to these intelligences, just understand that all of them are a blend. So musical intelligence, you may have some aspects that are really high, but you may not identify with all of them and that's okay. Maybe you have really, really high naturalistic intelligence. Maybe you have really, really kick butt spatial awareness. That's okay, it makes us all like unique in the different ways we learn and interact with the world around us. Gives us cool stuff, right? Are we sticky yet? I think we're sticky, okay. Oh yeah, these are way too big. I feel like this look is a little bit Bratz doll challenge right now. Not a bad thing, just a thing. These gems are gonna take a minute. I'm just gonna pause while I get the rest of them on. To go along with the theme of artistic freedom, I added a secondary thing of gems because I forgot that I was originally gonna use the tinier ones and I forgot they existed. And then I put the bigger ones on and I didn't want to take them off. So you just get double gems. Lucky you. All right. So next let's take some mascara. Mascara upper eyes. I'm gonna be using the Clinique High Impact Mascara in black. And let's talk about some other fun little things that say you have musical intelligence. Are you seeking patterns in your environment? Are you drawn to sound? Is it easy to memorize words or phrases in another language? Do you enjoy dancing and singing? Do you use patterns to remember things? Do you have a good sense of rhythm? Are you skilled at playing multiple instruments? And that one is, again, dependent on socioeconomic status, but hey, if you're drumming on the tabletop, I count that as an instrument. And whistle in a tune, your voice is an instrument. Not 100% sure how air guitar fits into all this though. Do you have a passion for music and easily remember song names, song patterns, words from songs? And do you have a high level of understanding of the composition of music, musical structure, notes, tones, and rhythms? All right, so these bad boys are what I made specifically for this video. These are the bottom lashes. And then they're gonna look kind of gunky up close. I'm sorry, these are the top lashes. And I glued them to another set of false lashes. They're just gonna be insane. It's just gonna be a lot, but it's okay. Um, I made them out of paper. I added a little bit of like the Hellbites Beauty Multi-Chrome Glitter to it. I used some Mod Podge, Mod Podge and some like alcohol for them, though I don't know if I would suggest that combo in the future, just because somewhere in the process I left out a little container and I was using the same brush in the alcohol and the Mod Podge and ended up getting a slight like chemical reaction. So. Be careful, use skin, skin safe stuff. You can probably use the Ben Nye adhesive to get the glitter onto the paper if you wanna do that. Probably be a little bit safer. Or if you just have like a skin safe chrome paint, I probably did not need to do the extra bit of gluing it on. So learn from my mistakes, don't repeat them. Let's um, glue these lashes on and cross our fingers that it works. Cause I spent far too long getting these lashes together. And then I used like nail gems as like our little line. I think these lashes were just some spirit, like the base lashes for the top were just like some spirit lashes. And then I used liquid latex to hold the paper together before I got the lashes, like the little regular lashes. This is, this is held together with strip of liquid latex, if you can see that. I'll let it be a surprise. Jeez, I kind of feel like Edward Scissorhands a little bit, but like Edward Scissor eyelashes. These are very enjoyable. Um, okay, so yeah, let's switch gears to lips. I'm gonna be using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lip in shade Life's a Beach. Oh, this is so pink, but that's the shade. You know, it's not even that it's not like a flattering color for my skin. I just feel like it makes my teeth look 
really yellow. So sad too, because it really like is a nice tone for my skin. It's just not a nice tone for my teeth. All right, I'm also going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in shade Moon Jelly. Moon Jelly is typically this bottom shade here, which is white, and um, I've made life choices that have caused it to be purple. So I'm just gonna put that over top, completely ruin this again, try and scrape off the extra lip color. It smells so good. Mmm, it smells like sugar cookies. All right, and here we are, Lady Gaga's Met Gala from 2019 look. Uh, let me know what you think about it. <laughs> Is there anything you would do differently? Can you buy these lashes somewhere? Because that would have made my life a whole lot easier instead of trying to figure out how to craft them. This is a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Naps, for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, we'll see about next week if I can get a video up. There might be a little bit of time constraints in the way. I'll do my best though, it just might be a shorter video or like a different kind of topic. We'll see. Anyway, let me know what you think of this. Let me know if there's any other videos you want to see in the future. Hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and ding that notification bell to be reminded whenever I post. Oh, once a week that it is. Hopefully I will see you naps here next Thursday. In the meantime, stay gorgeous, have fun, enjoy life, and do research on topics that interest you. All right, bye.